What is up everybody, it's back Reineke, and today we're back with another Doki Doki a Fallen Angel mod. Now if you didn't see yesterday's video, I recommend you go check it out, there'll be a little icon in the right top side of the screen. Go check, click that, check it out. If this is a good mod, also guys, if you want to download the mod, it will be the second link in the description. So let's get straight into this. It, it's nothing, I think I've already read this, but oh well, you'll say it again anyway. It's, it's nothing really. You smile sincerely at me. For just a moment, the timidness seems to disappear. Okay. Well, okay, that's everyone. <laughs> After yesterday, I felt it was a bit easier to share my poem today. After all, anything would be a big improvement from the poem I wrote for yesterday. On the other side, the room you say you're always talking to Natsuki. Wait, so you didn't kill him because her, their mothers have the same name? Yep. That's kind of lazy, don't you think? When I pan my eyes down the room, they stop upon Yuri and Monica who are sharing their poems. So what do you think of my poem, Yuri? Uh, it, it was very well written, M Monica. The way you use your space on the paper is very cute. Uh, that's not what I meant to say. I meant that... Yuri, are you stressed because of what you said to me earlier? Well, you shouldn't be silly. I'm not upset. Really? Of course. You want to know why? Uh, okay. Bec okay. What's going to happen? Because. I've said this even been describe how furious I am. W what do you mean? You think you can talk to your president like that? What's this music? Can you hear it, guys? I'll be quiet for a second. It's really like crazy music, but it changed. Do you even think about the things you say before you let them call out your mouth? No, I don't think you do. Um, is everything okay? Say or we go away. Eh! <laughs> Monica, I'm sorry for disrespecting you. I don't want your apology. Ever since you joined the club, you've been toxic. You sit at your desk, face shoved in a book, and don't communicate with any of us. You outcast yourself and take up space. You know there's a thing called a library, right, Yuri? So you're gonna come just to read and isolate yourself? You can do it there. What, what, are, you gonna, what are you gonna say to that, Yuri? I... 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 I think you're a turtle! <laughs> you have no right to treat me this way. You think you know everything, but guess what, Monica? You're just some dumb slut. <laughs> you think because you're popular you can walk over everyone? Jesus Christ, is this gonna be a, is there gonna be a fight? Bloody hell. Man. Well, think again. Because when I'm done with you, not even your own pet. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Yuri. Oh my god, it's actually. Wait, what was she saying? Because when I'm done with you, not even a. Not even your parents will recognise you're bashed in. Oh my god! Jesus Christ, guys, already in, only three minutes in. Show everyone what you're really like. Show idiot what you're really like. You glance around and she just realised we're all weirdest in this. Or better yet, here's a suggestion, Yuri. Have you considered killing yourself? Oh my god, not this again. She always says this to Yuri. It'd be beneficial for your mental state. She always says that. Ah. Once again, Yuri rushes up the room with tears in her eyes. So he runs up, Monica shouts at her. Remember, Yuri, sideways for attention. Oh my... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bloody hell. Sideways for attention, long ways for results. That's, um... Uh, sorry, Filthy Frank reference. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Monica, Yuri, you both of you being savages. Just calm down, both of you. Now, in this mod, it's post like Yuri, so... We're going to be on Yuri's side of this. I don't know what Monica meant by that, but it sent ice through my veins when she said it. Monica, what the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, you, you tell her, Natsuki. I simply explained to Yuri the consequence of a previous outburst. I look over to see Yuri's in her desk with tears down her face and covering her ears. What you said was way out of line. Oh, shall I remind you what you said yesterday, Natsuki? But I apologise to Yuri later that day. You should too. That won't be necessary. <laughs> Idiot, you go find Yuri, I'll talk to Samson to Monica. Got it. I'll make a break out for the club door. I wouldn't do that, idiot. You may not like what you see. Go to hell, Monica. Try to move an without another word. Now time to find Yuri. I run down the hall and looking through empty class and trying to find her. But Jesus Christ, guys. The bloody hell. That definitely surprised me. Bloody hell. Oh, got more custom artwork. Okay. My way to the end of the hall near the staircase. I can hear muffled sobs coming from upstairs. 
That has to be Yuri. I went upstairs as quickly as I can. You. No, don't, don't. No, she. No. Okay, good and custom artwork. I like it, but oh no, Yuri. No, Yuri. What? What? What the hell? Yuri, no. Yuri. What I see makes me feel sick to my stomach. Oh my god, idiot. You you weren't supposed to see me like this. Started to walk closer to her. Man, some of them are deep. No. Stay away from me. I'm a freak. Yuri, please. Let me help you. Those scars are deep. Let me see if the nurse is still here. No, please don't. I don't deserve to be helped. Take another step towards Yuri. I said stay away. She continues to back up away from me. I don't know what to do. She's locking herself in a cage when all I want to do is let her out. Why, Yuri? Tears crash around me. She has a blood stain the floor tiles. I can't help myself. I can't fight the urges. I can't control the pain I feel inside. I can't let the people accept me for who I am. I can't accept me for who I am. Because who I am is a monster. I take more steps and reach out for her. Stop it. Don't you understand? I don't want to be helped. Just leave me alone. He turns around and runs away from me. God damn. Chase after you, but it's no use. I lose sight of her. I fall to my knees. This is my fault. How could I have not known? God da damn you, Monica. So she is still evil in this mod, but I don't think she's changing game files. She's just evil. Well, the school day's over. Time to head to the literature club. However, after yesterday, I don't really know if I want to go back. So this is the next day. How am I going to face Yuri after seeing what I saw? I don't even understand. How are you going to face Monica from what she said? Why would she do something like that to herself? It doesn't matter why she does it. What's important is she needs help. I need to be there for her before she takes it too far. God, yeah, we don't want to go too far. I walk into a club room. Do I surprise her? only say Yuri and Monica here. What What she do to Natsuki? What she do to my best girl, in my opinion? Mod creators, Noah. His is Yuri. So we'll go for you, Yuri. We'll say Yuri's best girl for this mod. But Natsuki's, in, deep in my heart, is Natsuki. What, is, what did you do to Natsuki? Glad to see you. Uh, I believe I owe you an apology. I may have added a little bit of character yesterday. Yeah, just a bit. That's a bit underestimate. <laughs> but at the same time, can you blame me? You is very disrespectful as well. What well, she said, cut me deep, if you know what I mean. I bore my fist. I think back to what Monica said to yesterday. Long ways for results. She knew about Yuri's habits, and she's done nothing to help her. Monica, you know what you said was wrong. You told your own friend to kill herself. I prefer the term club mate. If we weren't in school right now, I'd wipe that perfect smile off her face. Well, okay, still don't hit a, a girl, even if it's out, no matter what. Unless it's, if it's self-defense, then it's okay. I, I think it is. If it's self-defense, or it's to protect them, so... If you haven't seen a brand new day mod, Yuri goes to stab herself and we hit her across the face with a book and knock her out. I think that's the only time hitting a, like, a woman is fine. Don't, don't just do it just because they're like extremely pissed you off. Just hold it back, take some deep breaths. Where's Yuri? I haven't seen her at all today. I'm going to guess that yesterday you saw what she's been hiding. Perhaps she didn't come today in order to avoid facing you. Monica's unfortunately, right? Me catching you in the act like that was probably too much for her to handle. I need to find her. I glance around the room once more. Where's Natsuki? Well, while you may have been fairly rude to me, I'm sure you're going to marry her as nowhere near what Natsuki had to say to me. So let's push me, I told her to leave and never come back. No! What? If you saw how she acted, you would understand. In addition, we only require four members to be an official club. Thus, she was useless. Think about how Natsuki said this club was the only place she, had, she felt comfortable in. Yeah, that's because at, if she wasn't at school, she, ha she has to be home and she gets beat by her dad. And now thanks to Monica, that place is not gone not only for Yui, but for Natsuki too. I'm done talking to you. I walk past Monica and over to Sayori, who's sitting quietly at her desk. She's staring blankly at her desk. I wave my hand in front of her. Sayori. She perks up. Oh, hey idiot. What does everyone seem so off today? Say, are you okay? You seem kind of down. I'm, I'm fine, see? So he gives me a big smile. But it's not a genuine smile. Sayori smile. Oh, don't. I hope the ending of this better not be... No, please don't. Please don't. So your smiles can brighten up the darkest rooms, but this one just leaves me cold. So you, you know if something is bothering you, can tell me. Everything's fine, idiot. Go play with the others. I could, I could if the others were actually here. 
If you say so, Sayori, who's most likely still upset from yesterday's event? That only leaves me and Monica, and I'll be damned if I go talk to her again. Guess I'll just go home then. This place just isn't the same as if it can't be if I can't read with Yuri. Yeah, I was in the Discord server. If you wanna join that, it's the community server. That's the third link in the description. And someone got the mod like two hours ago. He played it, finished it, and apparently the ending is horrible. Apparently everyone like ends up hate as like like isn't happy with him. They go, Oh, F you apparently about to the end. So I'm really confused. Hey, as I turn the corner, I start walking towards the exit, I see a familiar pink figure at the vending machine. Natsuki! Natsuki? I wonder what she's still doing here after school. She hasn't noticed me yet, as she's on her hands and knees looking under the vending machine. Oh yeah, she always looks like stuff. Uh, everything okay? Ah! Uh, Idiot, what the hell are you doing? Are you stalking me? I was gonna ask you, what exactly were you doing? That's none of your business. Look down at Natsuki's hand, she seems like... Yeah, she... She goes under, I remember this from the brand new day one, I'm pretty sure they mentioned this. She goes under the vendor machine, takes coins, then uses them to buy stuff, because obviously her, father, her dad doesn't feed her and all that. Nasty, why are you hold? Don't, please don't say anything. If anyone saw me doing this, um, what exactly are you doing? Idiot, if I tell you, do you promise not to tell anyone? Of course. This is strange, she's not pushing me away like she normally does. I know Nasty isn't exactly the assertive girl, she makes herself out to be. Let's see, but see her this? Vulnerable? To tell you the truth, I don't exactly have an ideal home situation. It's just me and my dad, but he doesn't, he hasn't been doing good at all. He goes in and out of jobs regularly, and with little money he does make, he uses for himself. I'm speechless. I couldn't even seem to wrap my head around what she's saying. Are you s He doesn't have any money to give me for lunch, and at home I, he rarely ever makes food anymore. I learned that I could find coins that people dropped on the vending machines. It's humiliating, but it's the only way I can afford to eat. I'm drowned by the flood of realization. Everything about her makes sense now. Her small size, her defensive nature, it's all because of her dad. I'll do my best to cheer her up. And that's the reason I want to play exit music. Because apparently that's a mod about Natsuki, and I Natsuki's my favourite character. If it goes into that if it goes into apparently it's amazing about Natsuki, but it's not a good ending. I was told to play it after relapse, but I still want to play it first. Natsuki, why don't you come back to the club? Is Monica there? Well, yeah, then no thanks. I'm just going to stay here for a while. I'd rather be alone than at home. I want help her, but I don't know how. I whisper to myself, first Yuri, and now you. Natsuki hears me nonetheless. What happened to Yuri? Let's just say, after yesterday, I feel as though Yuri might need my help. Well, I may be able to help you. Really? How? She lives just down the road from me. Can you show me where? Why? So you can stalk her? Nasty, I'm serious. For her safety, I need to know where she is. Okay, fine. But if I hear you did anything to her... Yeah, yeah, I know. Can we please go now? Nasty leaves me out of the school. As I walk beside her, I can't ever feel uneasy what she said about her father. But right now, Yuri needs my help. So Nasty and Sayori, I'll cross the bridge when I get there. We won't be able to save Nasty and Sayori, will we? Natsuki stops and points it to the house. There it is. Thanks, Natsuki. Appreciate it. Well, if you just keep this day between you and me, okay? She walks off and is eventually out of sight. I'm on my way to the front door. Here I go. I press against the doorbell. Hey, doorbell sound effect. No answer. I knock loudly on the door. Yuri, it's me, idiot. I just want to talk to you. I look at one of the upstairs windows. So I can see a purple figure peeking through behind the curtains. She quickly jerks the curtains shut. Well, this is definitely the right house. Can I convince Yuri to let me in? <laughs> I bang on the door once more. Yuri, I bought our book. Figured since you weren't at the club today, we could read it somewhere else. Within 30 seconds, I hear the sound of a lock turning. <laughs> Yuri slowly opens the door, just enough to speak through, but it's not enough for me to see inside. Idiot. You, you shouldn't have come here. I know, but I couldn't help but be worried. Yuri, may I please come in? No, no. I'm, I'm a freak idiot. You should leave. You start to close the door, but I shove my hand in the small threshold. I'm sorry, Yuri, but I'm coming in wherever you want me to not. This is definitely considerable as a break-in at this point, but I don't care. If Yuri hurt herself and I did nothing to stop it, I could never forgive myself. I can send Yuri back and away from the door. Thank you. Okay. Oh, nice house. Good custom... Nice cut. Oh, her sleeves are up. Custom artwork. Yuri stands before me. If I hadn't known any better, I would have thought she'd been kept here for weeks. Standing with clothes, I can now see her arms clearly. 
or I guess I should say what's left of her arms. It's clear some of the cuts are fresh and some had been made recently. If I hadn't come, who knows what she would have happened, Yuri. I'm sorry that you have to seem like this. I'm not really comfortable sharing this side of me. Then I won't make you share. Pull out a book of my bag, Eternal Isolation. How about we just sit down and read? In the short two days me and Yuri had, we had, we are already about a third through the book. Okay. For the first time, Yuri's eyes lay, leave the floor and look up at me. Is it fine if we sit on the couch? Yeah, yes, that's fine. Do you mind if I go clean myself up very quickly? Of course, Yuri, take your time. F thank you. With that, she turns around and darts upstairs. What do I get myself into? I take a seat on the couch and wait. Zzz. As I'm looking around the room, my phone vibrates in my pocket. Huh? You can't run from me forever. Who the hell? I tell her a response. Who is this? It's Monica. Zzz. She doesn't deserve you. This is Monica. What the f is going on? Who's this person? Now do they have my number? Idiot. I jump out my seat and expect the sound of Yuri's voice. Hey! She has uh, like custom clothes. You saw stand or oh, outside school uniform clothes. I'm not sure she saw some of a assassin because she could have easily sit behind me and snap my neck. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah. I was just waiting is all. She's now wearing a cotton sweater to hide her arms. You, you didn't wait too long, did you? No, not at all. Come sit down. I just for you to sit beside me on the side of the couch. I, are you sure? Or well, how else are we supposed to read together, silly? He takes a deep breath to calm her nerves, and she looks back at me. I suppose you're right. With that, Yuri slowly steps to the side of the couch next to me and stiffly sits down. Oh, custom art! Yuri takes a book from my hand and opens it and we read. Hey, custom artwork again! I always appreciate the custom artwork that goes into this mod. And I always like to, like, if... I always like, I would always like to recommend this to any mod creator. At the end of a mod, always, always, like, say who did the music, or who's done the music, who's done that artwork. Just, like, I always think it's good to, like, I forgot, I can't speak, I forgot the word, I'm very stupid. Like, to show that you appreciate it. Like, I, like, I have the Discord server of the mod creators in the description. I have a game download, like, I, I want... To promote it, as say, as such, and show my appreciation. Uh, and over to the page we started previously. As we continue reading, we are following a main character. She's now forced to live the rest of her life in a small cell with no human contact. She is constantly haunted by visions of her dead husband, who is brutally hanged in front of her. She is also tormented by hallucinations of the guards laughing and mocking her. She slowly starts to spiral into a dark pit of insanity. In her cell is only a bed, a toilet, mirror, and a small window that peeks outside that is too high for her to see through. In her emotional breakdown, a woman breaks a mirror and shatters glass fall to the ground. She stares at reflection into the broken pieces. She picks up a long shot. No! And then and she she presses the cold glass against the sky. I knew it! In my panic, I jolt back and take my eyes off the book. I stare at you, you fool fails to meet my gaze. I go back to the first day I read with her and I told her that the main character reminded me of her. I think I'm about to throw up. Tears begin to fill Yuri's eyes. Do you know why I share this book with you, idiot? Uh, because I don't know how to probably communicate with people. I don't know how to speak my true feelings. I don't know how to show people who I really am. The only thing I know are books. I had hoped that sharing this book with you could somehow show you a glimpse of my mind. But, but now I realise that it was a tragic mistake. Because now you see who I really am inside. Yuri. I reach out and grab her hand, but she jerks it away. Tell me why you're really here, idiot. What? What? You didn't come here because you wanted to read. You came here because you felt sorry for me. You thought I would hurt myself or even maybe... She wished she trails off. You're right, Yuri. Huh? She looks up at me. I stared deeply into her lavender eyes. They pierced back. I didn't come here originally to read with you. I came here because... I held back my tears. Because I was worried about you. So I want to help you, Yuri. Because what you're doing is dangerous and I want you to stop. But it... I can't. Don't you think I've tried? I know the dangers of it, but I can't stop myself no matter how much I want to. Why would now be any different? Once again, I reach for Yuri's hand, except this time she doesn't move away. Because she's got help this time. I, I hold her hand gently wrapped in mine. Because this time, Yuri, you're not... There you go! Not alone. We're going to help you. We're going to get through this together. There you go. What? Why help me? All I've done is bring you to this twisted world of pain. And every time you show affection, I push you away and tell you to leave. Yet... Yeah. For some reason you stay. 
No. Because Yui, I look. Eh, uh, I mean, because that's what friends do. They stay by each other no matter how hard life gets. I don't have any friends, idiot. That's not true. Because now you have me, and I won't let anything or anyone hurt you from here on. He looks down at his sleeve. I can see some dark red stains forming in the cotton. She didn't clean her cuts. I reach down towards her sleeve. Her other hand quickly latches onto mine. Idiot. Please, let me help you. She slowly exhales and hesitantly releases a grip on my arm. Slowly wall up her sleeve. Now I'm this close, I can really see the damage. This poor girl has completely mangled her arm. Lines upon lines of cuts all in a row. Some new, some old. Some shallow, some dangerously deep. She has a first aid kit. Dewey nods and stands up. I get up and she takes me to a bathroom. Custom arc? Custom? Any custom? Okay, no, it's just a bed. Oh, it's- Oh! Okay, we're just back to my house now. It's the next day. I wake up and check with time. 10.40. It's Saturday, so usually I could relax after such a stressful week. But it's not the case considering the events that occurred yesterday. With Nazi's home situation and say, say you're inviting me, not to any of those mysterious texts I got. Of course, Yuri. After I helped clean the carts, it was getting late. Pair would have been best to go home and I feared Yuri may implode from anxiety. Before I left, however, I asked her if she would like to go out today. I told her about a fairly new cafe that opened in downtown. She said she would like to go. Guess I should start getting ready then. After completing my daily routine, and eating breakfast, I look at the clock. So I actually had to check it was actually Saturday when I'm recording this, because I'm going away next week, because I've got a half term and I'm visiting fam my Welsh family, my dad and all that. As you know, I don't really upload then or I can't stream. So I'm trying to pre-record videos now. I was going to finish the mod tomorrow, but I'm going to finish this mod today, record lots of the next mod tomorrow, and record like two, ep uh, two, ep two to three episodes every day just to have it pre-recorded. Okay, I should probably start heading out now. Put on my phone and send a text to Yuri. I'm glad I remembered to get a number before I left. Make my way over to your house now. Are you most ready? Damn, I'm tired again. Like, <laughs> uh, not yesterday's video. The video before that. I think you deserve to have a normal day for once. I don't expect her to bring up a cutting, nor do I plan on bringing it up. I'm gonna help her, but I have to wait for her to be ready to open up first. Bzz yes, I'm ready. P perfect, I'll grab my wallet, keys, and I'll exit my house. I arrive at Yuri's house and ring the doorbell. Immediately the door opens and Yuri steps out. Hello, hey, hey! More custom clothing! It's all purple. It's, well, purple. Okay, they're not all purple, but you know what? I guess you know what I mean. Uh, have you been waiting by the door this entire time? Uh, well, we said you on your way and... I know, it's nearly ten minutes walk from my house to yours. But she's standing behind the doors waiting to open it. If you were ready a long time ago, you could have texted me. I would have gone there faster. I must have slipped my mind. Anyway, shall we go? Yes, let's go. Yuri beams at me. A pleasant sight to see her such horrendous few days. We walk until we make it downstairs area. This is a part of town full of sorts of restaurants, shops and clubs. You name it, it's here. Street performers and beggars also lie on the sidewalk on occasion. We walk by a guy strumming an acoustic guitar. Now here's Wonderwall. Yuri and I speed our pace a bit. <laughs> I believe the cafe is just the end of the block. Sure enough, we finally arrive at the cafe and step inside. Is it Robbie's? Oh my god! Stand in line and look at them. Bloody hell! I know this is a completely different style, but oh my god. This is good! We have a menu both. Well, Yuri, you're a tea expert. What do you recommend? There are so many kinds. I don't want to give you something you don't like. Relax, Yuri. I'm just playing with you. Ah, Maybe I'll get a green tea. That's a fine choice, idiot. Perhaps I'll have uh, ginseng, ginseng tea. I have no idea what that is, but if Yuri is getting it, it must be good. I turn to Yuri to see what, see she is talking to herself. Are you alright? Yes, I'm okay. I'm just rehearsing my order. Oh, she's one of those people who don't want to forget when she gets to a till. I do that. Like, say if I'm at McDonald's or whatever, or I have to go up to the till, I'm always like, okay. I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say this, so I don't get it wrong. So you don't wanna like go up to the thing and go, oh yeah, I'll have a Big Mac with no pickle, like, no, like, whatever. Like, oh, no onion or whatever. You need to remember this, you don't wanna get it wrong. What? You don't many buffets have you gonna phrase your order before ordering? I always do that, but I just do it 
to remember. I don't like phrase it. I just remember do it to remember what I have to say. It's like, oh, I want a double cheeseburger with bacon, uh, ketchup, whatever. Can't say I do that. Oh, this is very embarrassing. Now I've done it. I really need to get better at talking to girls. Hey, don't worry. I'm sure a lot of people practice their orders. Plus, I think it's kind of cute. What, what do you say? Next! <laughs> That's us. How can I help you today? May I have a green tea? One green tea. The cashier writes out my order and turns to Yuri. What can I get you, ma'am? Ma uh, I guess I did let Yuri finish her rehearsal. Uh, I'll take the t tea. The cashier says blankly to Yuri. Ma'am, we have a lot of different kinds of tea. He points to a menu behind him. Ah, uh, of course, I'm sorry. The cashier clearly uncomfortable looks at me. Someone shouts from behind us. Can you hurry, we're ready? Some of us have places to be. Turn to see there's no see large line behind us. I look over to Yuri's turn to pale as a ghost. I'm gonna save here. Uh, I know what she wants. Oh, I'll, I'll turn back to the cashier. She won't have a ginseng. He wants to have an order. One ginseng and one green tea. Will that be all? Yes, thank you. Pay for order and escort you to an empty table. Is she happy with this? Is she happy with us? Uh, I'm sorry. It's okay, you. You don't have to apologize. But those people are clearly angry at me. I embarrassed you, dear, no? Okay, I think that was the good option. Like, we knew what she wanted anyway. Like, if, I think if we didn't know, then I think we should have just let her, like, chose, or just say, hey, or, like, you, do you, what, like, what, what tea do you want? Like, help her out. But because we knew, I, I, I would say that was okay to order for her. It's okay. You don't, didn't embarrass me. Also, who cares what other people think? They want to be impatient, man. That's, that's her own problem. Don't worry about what other people think. What other people think. Also, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have distracted you while you were practicing your order. Thank you for ordering for me. Oh, there you go. She, that was a good option. Don't mention it. The waiter comes by and hands us a tea. Anyways, let's... Idj, can you stop saying... Saying what? Anyways. Oh, okay. The proper term is anyway. Oh, I was about to say, what? Well, she got wrong with it anyways. It's li literature. Anyway is an adverb. Vossi cannot be plural. And one anyway, so you tell me be a word, it's often used in whatever that word is, language, and it's very informal. Uh I'm sorry, I guess. Uh, I didn't mean to sound rude or anything. It's just Did I just raise my voice again? I'm sorry. Yuri! Yuri! It's fine, I appreciate you informing me on how not to sound informal. Oh, you you're welcome. Let's enjoy your tea before it gets cold. Good idea. We started to drink our tea in silence. I should have struggled with conversation to break away this awkward tension. So Yuri, what made you join the literature club? You know, before it went to hell. Well, if I'm being honest, it was to meet people with similar interests as me. I thought maybe perhaps I could find people who had an equal fascination in storytelling. Also, I had hoped it would maybe have me not feel so secluded to the outside world. Maybe it could get me a starting point to become more comfortable with human contact. Well, I guess this may have worked. I suppose it didn't exactly work out that way, however, well, I wouldn't say that exactly. I mean, you met me, right? And I believe that you and Natsuki, despite your differences, have become a little closer. I suppose you're right. Think of it this way, Yuri. As much as I hate to say it, if it weren't for Monica and the Literature Club, we wouldn't be seeing sharing a cup of tea together right now. Again, you're right. Of course I am. I lean back in my seat and rest my hands behind my head. Do you know what? We're going to save here. And save this for the next video. Today's video... Jesus Christ, it got intense quick. Three minutes in, Yuri and Monica are having a fight. Then we find out, what, when we finally find out what Yuri's doing to herself. Then we go to her house. We also find out all about Natsuki, even though I don't think we're going to have anything to really do with Natsuki. I'm sorry, Natsuki, I can't save you in this mod, I'm pretty sure. Only Yuri. But we have, deck, we have exit music for that. So actually, guys, what mod would you want to see next? Doki Doki Relapse? Was like over 10 hours, but it's to do with all the girls, not just one. So apparently that's a really good mod. And we also have Exit Music, what's apparently just, it's just about Natsuki. But it's got a, an emotional scarring ending. Apparently it's like, scar people still have nightmares from it. This what, that's what Reddit all says, and the Discord servers I'm in. So guys, if you liked this video, smash that like button where it hurts. Also, smash the subscribe button too, if you're new here, and turn the post notifications to get notified when I upload or when I stream. And I'll see all you amazing people in the next video. Bye-bye.